Hey everyone, I'm Monroe. As many of you know, I used to live in China. And actually, up until mid-December, I was living there. And at that time, the coronavirus was just taking off in Wuhan. We didn't know about it. And I left, I finished my contract there in China and I came home. Everything was hopping and buzzing and Shanghai was just filled with its 23 million people. And I actually wondered, oh gosh, is this the right thing, me going back to the States? I didn't know. And everybody there, all my friends, everybody working there, they all had their lives planned out. They had their jobs, they had their trajectories, they knew where they were going with their career. They had plans to go overseas. It, it was sky's the limit type of thing. And the lesson that I think we can all learn from what's going on is you can't plan anything. Everything that you think that you have planned out and that you think is going to just work out perfectly, guess what? Something could screw it up. Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. I was planning to potentially go back to Shanghai again, but certainly I'm not going back there anytime soon. The streets are empty. I'd say 75% of my colleagues all either resigned or were fired from their jobs. I'm, I'm taking my continuing Chinese lessons and I do it online, I always have. And what blows my mind is that my cheap teachers, they have not left their house in six weeks. They're quarantined, they all are, and they're all, call, all across China. But this really has just got me thinking, for people always in my life said, Monroe, you need to focus. Monroe, you need to focus on one thing and one thing only and make that be your career. And this is the, exactly why that's a stupid thing to do and it's poor advice. Everybody that focused on their one job in China a lot of them are getting screwed. Uh, a lot of them are getting fired. A lot of them are getting laid off. They, they, they just, the business is not there. What two months ago was a sure thing. Everything's gonna work out perfectly. I'm on the, high, on the fast track. Guess what? They don't know what they're doing now. A lot of people were planning to go to South Korea, go to Japan. Guess what? Well, that travel is all restricted now. And even now, here it's coming here to the United States. And we're hoping that we're going to contain it. But will we? Will what happened in South Korea and Italy, is that going to happen here in New York? Y you don't know. I don't know. And it just, I'm supposed to head off to San Francisco in two weeks for a conference. Uh, it's called Accelerate Good for Tech Not for Profits. I'm really excited, like one of the main speakers is Reid Hoffman, who founded, co-founded LinkedIn. Uh, Sal Khan from uh, Khan Academy, he's gonna be there. I mean, it's a really great opportunity. I'm thinking, wow, is that gonna be canceled, potentially, because of this virus? Uh, is it safe for me to go on the airplane? And, The bottom line is, I just want you to make sure you have options in life. Don't get locked into one thing and you think, oh, I've got my secure job. Oh, I've got my secure bank account. Oh, I've got my secure house. Guess what? The house could burn down. The job, the company could go under. And that bank account could become insolvent. Not only the bank account, but the bank itself. So many people take things for granted and you think that you've got control over everything. You have control over nothing. You have control over nothing. Everything that you think is hunky-dory perfect is very tenuous and is teetering. And teetering in a way that you don't know until it happens. No one in a million years could have suspected that two months ago if you said the whole China's economy is gonna be going crazy and half the country is gonna be quarantined to their apartment, you'd laugh and go, that's absurd. And then it's gonna then spread to the rest of the world. People's jobs are gonna become in jeopardy. I mean, you, you, I know firsthand because I'm talking to all of, my, all of my friends and colleagues in China, they don't know what to do. 
They're, they're confused. Do we stay in China? What job can I do? Do I have to find a job that's online? I just saw on Twitter that Jack Dorsey has instructed all of the employees in Hong Kong, in China, Japan, South Korea, parts of Italy to stay home and work from home. And apparently everybody else at Twitter is instructed not to go to work, to stay home. Twitter pulled out of this huge, huge tech conference in Texas, I believe, over concerns about the coronavirus. It's, it's a big wake up call to any of you who are thinking I've got control of my life and nothing can derail it. This is the perfect example to be reminded all the time that don't take anything for granted. It reminds me of two of President Trump getting elected. Everybody said it'll never happen. Never, never, never. And the impossible happened. People are saying now, oh, Bernie Sanders would never, never win as a socialist. Well, I've learned my lesson from what happened with President Donald Trump, never say never. So don't think that you can't get fired. Don't think that your company can't go out of business. Don't think that, that you're financially secure. Don't think that that paycheck is coming next week. Don't think that your car is gonna start tomorrow. Don't assume anything. Nothing is assumed. Nothing is assured. And anyway, I'm almost around the block here. It's a beautiful rainy day and I've started a habit of walking at least uh, 3,000 steps a day if I can. Walking around the block isn't 3,000, but it's, it's, ugh, it's a good start. When I was in Shanghai, it was, I'd probably say 12,000 steps a day, just walking everywhere. You come back and you live in the suburbs again and <laughs> you're driving everywhere. And it's, it's kind of shocking when you see that, oh my gosh, I've only walked 200 steps today. So that's why I'm on this little walk around the block. But I also wanted to do this because I promised myself that I would post a new YouTube video today and I wasn't sure what to write about or talk about. And then I thought, let me just go around the block and see what comes to mind. And this is what came to mind. And so for me in my life moving forward, I'm gonna just take a look at everything and say, hey, what have I been taking for granted? What, have I, what am I assuming is going to be there tomorrow that may not be? My mother, my friends, money, job, my car. My car's right there. You guys sometimes know it, that yellow Jeep. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll take some stock of your life and realize nothing is assured, nothing is permanent. If you like this video, please click like. Please share it with your friends. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers this year. And I'm almost there at 555, I think. 555. Awesome. By the way, this jacket is a Shanghai creation. One of my friends is a fashion designer there and she works at this company. So this is a custom made jacket that just went on sale probably about two months ago, right when I was leaving. Awesome. Well, God bless everyone in China. God bless everyone in the world. And uh, take some time this week to put together lots of contingency plans. Contingency plans. Make sure everything is you got backup plans. If this happens, I'm going to do this. If this, that. If you got a job now and you think it's secure, what's your plan if you're fired tomorrow or you're laid off? Because I'm telling you, no one in China thought this was going to happen. Now everybody is struggling over there thinking, what the heck am I going to do now? So fortunately, if you're watching this, maybe you haven't gotten to that situation yet. Maybe you can come up with solutions before the problems hit. All my best, guys. Later.